What's happening there, folks? G the Hat Guy here, back at you with another awesome hat video here. We're going to be discussing uh, vintage caps, okay? Spitfires, Newsboys, Brandos, and Big Apple caps. That's the title of this video, okay? So in the comment section, let me know if you own any one of these, or what's your favorite, or you into these caps, you know what not, let me know. Chat with me in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share the video with somebody else who'd be interested in this kind of hat, cap, headwear content, okay? So let's get right into it. As you can see right in front of me here, we have a denim cap, okay? This one here, this is a Spitfire. It's a denim, eight and a quarter panel style. Uh, style. It's got a center button, okay? It's got that uh, deep blue denim type, okay? The difference basically between... Uh, this, you know, Spitfire is real similar to like a noose boy. Okay, this one is made vintage style. So it's got, like they used to wear back in the 40s and all that. 30s, 20s, and 40s and all that. And, and prior to that, it's got the the stitching, okay? It's got the stitching on the visor. Okay, and that's the main difference between a Spitfire and a noose boy cap. Or apple cap, okay? Uh, let's see, the underneath the visor, you see it's got the stitching. It's got a soft visor. Okay, so there's nothing inside of the visor, really. There's no uh, piece of plastic or anything like that. You know, buckram or whatnot that they use for uh, hat making that's in there that's stiff. It's soft. It's usually just fabric, and then they stitch the fabric. That's the style of the uh, Spitfire. Now, you do have some Spitfires that, you know, don't have the stitching. You know, this one is made more in the vintage style, so that's why it's got that stitching. That's the vintage style look, whatnot. Usually, you know, the more modern ones with certain brands, we have a piece of plastic or, or buckram hat making uh, material in there, whatnot. And then they might stitch stitch that over or just, uh, you know, put it in there to hold the visor. But yeah, otherwise, uh, again, it's got the eight and a quarter panel style. It's got the center button. This one has got the extension, the fabric extension in the back to catch, you know, the back of your neck, whatnot, you know. You know, well sewn. You know, this particular one. Let's see, uh, there's no line on the inside. It's got a cotton sweatband on the inside there. Okay, it's got a cotton sweatband. There's no liner in there. It's got a center button, you see. You know, it's kind of raw on the, on the inside. It's sewn over that. You know, they kind of they covered up the panels there. Okay, it's got some piping in there. Some piping to cover that up so yes yeah, so that's that one there that's a spitfire denim cap okay so let me put that down right there and then we go on to the next one this one here this is your big apple cap okay detroit style all the detroit folks okay go ahead and comment in the section let me know where you're from you're from detroit okay you, you know a lot about this here okay this is old school detroit style they still like to rock their big apples out there in Detroit. This is a canvas, made out of canvas. Usually you find this in wool. Same thing with the Spitfire. They make them in different types of fabric. You know, cotton, wool is pretty popular. You know, of course, linen for the summertime is pretty popular as well. You know, I do have a uh, linen one, uh, linen big apple right over here. What now? Yeah, so this is made out of heavy cotton canvas. You see it's eight and a quarter panel, really wide. If you got dreadlocks and stuff, this is the half for you. This is actually a one size fits all. It's got the center button, okay, whatnot. And uh, it's got a button down visor. This one's got the lining on the inside. Nice satin lining, poly satin. It's got the, uh, on the sweatband, it's got a woven uh, poly uh, nylon sweatband there. Okay, uh, and it's buttoned down. It's got a button down visor. You know, as you can see, you know, the button right there. Okay, this one's got the lining on the inside. You know, again, made out of heavy, uh, you know, heavy canvas. They make them in wool, linen for the summer, etc. So, yeah, at this point in the video, folks, please, uh, if you're learning something, you're enjoying the video, support the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like, share, comment, give it a, the video a thumbs up, share with somebody else on Instagram, Facebook, your friends, you know, whatnot, uh, on YouTube who might uh, enjoy the content, 
Okay, who's into hats or looking to get into hats, want to learn more about hats and caps, whatever, you know, whichever one. Okay, uh, so thank you very much. Appreciate that. Also, please uh, join our Facebook uh, group, hat group. It's called The Hat Lounge with G The Hat Guy. The Hat Lounge with G The Hat Guy on Facebook. We're trying to get that up and going. Okay, uh, it was set up back in 2018. But kind of ignore for for some time, you know, what not due to COVID and all that other stuff that was going on. And Facebook wasn't really that user friendly, so it's better now. What not? They're starting to fix some of the issues they had, so uh, be more user friendly. So uh, send a request to join the group, and I'll uh, I'll go ahead and approve your request. You can post your own hat uh, stuff on there. You know, when you're wearing hats, casual or dressy or whatever, no spamming. No spamming, no promotions. If you have something valuable you want to share, you can send me a message on there or a comment in the in the in the comment section or let me know and I have to review it and uh we'll take it from there. So subscribe to the channel, appreciate it. Okay, yeah. So like I said, this is the big apple here we're looking at. Okay. So that's that one. That's the big big apple. That's the big dog. You know, if you have dreads, like I said, and stuff, yeah. You know, that's the half for you. These are vintage caps, you know, old school caps that they've been wearing for decades that, uh, you know, a lot of people still wear today. The Brando. Brando is not as common, uh, but some folks, you know, still rock it. You know, kind of looks similar to uh, the, uh, some people say the chauffeur cap. Okay, it's got the rope there. And in front, this one has got leather. It's got the leather. Um... Uh, what is it underneath the visor? The the leather covering, what not there, and it's got leather taper all around, you know, uh, right there as well, all around the back. This is really lightweight leather they use on this one. I believe it's leather. Uh, I don't think it's imitation leather on this one. Maybe like vinyl or something. I believe this is leather, like just really lightweight. Um. Let's see. Okay, and it's got the rope on there. It's got the camel color. Again, eight and a quarter panel style. So same, similar to like a Spitfire and a Newsboy as far as the design. Again, it's got the eight and a quarter panel center button, as you can see. Okay, and uh, yeah, I try to convince folks to get this hat, man. It's real stylish. This is one of my favorite caps. They're like, well, uh, you know, kind of looks like the chauffeur's cap. They don't understand. They're missing out. They don't understand the, the fashion trend, the old school. If you're into old school hats like newsboy caps and all that, you'd understand this. They don't know. And this cap, you could wear it several different ways. You could pull the button, pull it all the way back for a different look to expose the rope in the front. You could pull it all the way to the side. You know, you could pull it all the way to the front. You know, the different looks you could do with this hat, you know, with this uh, cap here. So, yeah, folks, uh. This the uh the Brando. This is like why they call it the Brando is what uh um Marlon Brando, you know, uh rest his soul, you know, the uh the hat they used to wear, you know, one of his favorites, uh, his favorite was the Brando cap, you know, so he used to wear this and that's why they call this the Brando. That's where that name uh you know comes from, whatnot. Some other people they might have some other name for it, whatnot, uh but that's that's uh, one of the popular names for it is the Brando cap, okay? Uh, and a nice camel wool. So this this one is wool. Again, similar to a newsboy, similar to a Spitfire, like the uh, the denim one I showed you. This has got a hard visor, you know, a very wide visor. Uh, I might have exactly. Okay, so that's that one there. And then let's see here. Uh, show you something else. Again, this is the linen. Uh, newsboy, I kind of showed you a little bit earlier. This is for the summer, spring, summer linen in a nice chocolate color. Center button, eight and a quarter panel. This is all, uh, you know, it's got the lining, the satin poly lining. It's got the woven elastic sweatband on the inside, as you can see. Of course, button down visor. A lot of half folks that are into caps probably have this. Stuff. This is pretty popular. It comes in black, chocolate, beige, different colors, whatnot, blue, uh, lilac, I mean sky blue, you name it. I've seen some purple, green, I've seen some, you know, uh, different hat shops, you know, carrying uh, different colors out there. So, yeah, if you're into caps, that's something that a lot of uh, cap wearers are into. 
And again, this is the uh, Spitfire, another Spitfire here, actually. Uh, and this Spitfire here, this one is actually, uh, let's see here, uh, one of my my pieces trying to fall down here. <laughs> that one right there. <laughs> let's see. Uh, okay. So this is a Spitfire, same thing, old school. This is like the engineer style Spitfire with this particular uh, uh, fabric here. Okay, with the lines designed in it, almost like a plaid type design. You know, this this is what the engineers, the old school back in the 20s, 30s, and 40s and stuff, you know, back then, they used to wear uh, in probably like 1800s and stuff. You know, they used to wear with, again, this is eight and a quarter panel center button, but that fabric with the, with the cream and the black, you know, that's the engineer style. You know what, now again, this has got a cotton sweat band, you know, uh, this one again, there's no lining. Um, you see it's got the uh, the stitched visor, again, for the Spitfire. That's the signature for the Spitfire there. Uh, definitely not a sewn down or button down visor. No, the Spitfire doesn't have that, okay, as opposed to a newsboy. You know, newsboy uh, is the one that's got the button down, but they're all similar with the eight and a quarter panel uh, design. Yeah, so that's that one there. And then what else do I have for you? Yeah, I just want to show you a uh, traditional uh, newsboy, whatnot. Uh, pretty much, you see a traditional newsboy there, which is uh, this one here. Okay, it's got the head and the quarter panel. It's got a little bit of a tweed type, you know, multicolor in there. You see some yellowing, some navy, some purple, you know, a little bit of everything in there. It in a quarter panel, this is European style. It's got the extra the extra uh, fabric there. You know, the tail. It's got the tail, you know, extension right there. There you go. Uh, and this the air flap. This the one. Yeah, this one's got the air flap I had in the previous video. And then you can break that out too, cover up your ears, you know, during the winter time. So folks, be sure to so that's the newsboy, Spitfire, Brandos. I showed you, okay, the Brando, the Spitfire, Cat, uh, Newsboy, and the Big Apple, okay, I showed you all of those four caps, so hopefully you learned something new, gained something, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, appreciate your time for watching, stay tuned, got great, awesome content coming your way, again, join us on Facebook, look up the Facebook group, The Hat Lounge, The Hat Lounge by G The Hat Guy, send me a request, I'll go in and approve your request. Okay, you can post your own hat stuff on there when you're dressed up or whatever, or casual hats and caps that, you, that you're wearing. No spam, okay? We're trying to grow that Facebook group. Okay, also on Instagram is G the Hat Guy. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Share the content with other hat folks that can benefit and learn something. That's the whole purpose of this channel, to showcase different stuff within the hat arena, headwear, okay? To, uh, you know, again, enlighten our people give them more insights about hats. You know, it's hat fun, hat entertainment. We're going to be hitting the road pretty soon as well. Bring you some awesome hat content from across the country, okay? Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. To the next video. Thank you. Signing out. Bye.